Hey team, what up? It's Joe Mill here with Killer Miller Q. We are back and we are live. And as you can see, we are on our undisclosed location here in Oxford, California, checking out some Cowboys cam. With that said, I'm going to be bringing out my tailgater edition, my small smoker. And uh, we're going to be putting together some of the best lemon pepper chicken wings that you have ever seen. Hold tight and let's get right into it. is I'm about to get down a little bit. This is my little homie. As you see, we are not on my normal location as we out here in Oxnard, but we enjoying ourselves checking out this Cowboys camp. But uh, I did bring my friend with me. This grill right here is actually what made me get rid of my Traeger and get a Green Mountain. Um, and that's with the full-size pellet grill that you see me cooking on normally. This is a Davy Crockett. Uh, nowadays, I think they call it the Trek. But pretty much it's their smallest little model. You see the little fold-out legs, the little tailgater edition. Or it's got those little uh, spongy type cord legs that you can like sit it on top of a picnic bench or something like that. But let me tell you something. This little thing right here smokes like nobody's business. Literally, I got this as we was going to do a camping trip. And uh, I had to try it out a few times before we left. And after doing a few things on there, instantly I noticed that my food tasted better and had a better smoke than the Traeger that I had. And with that said, you know, it was an older Traeger. Uh, it was new when I had it, but I mean, it was an older line. So, I mean, they've come a long way as far as technology. But I'm going to tell you something. This thing right here impressed me. And uh, next thing you know, I put a whole brisket on this little thing. It actually has got a pretty good little size that we can kind of see in there. It can hold in. Put my hand in. It can hold in a decent amount of space. Like I said, I remember I cooked a whole ham in here. I cooked a brisket on here. I mean, I did a pork butt. It can do a little bit of something, something. But uh, today, we're going to be doing those chicken wings. So I'm about to get this thing fired up. Grab those wings out, and I'll let you know what we're about to do next. All right, before I get started, I quickly show you some of the ingredients we're working with for these lemon pepper chicken wings. I got whole chicken wings over there, roughly about four pounds. Some lemon pepper seasoning from Lowry's, a little bit of vegetable oil, some uh, salted butter. And uh, I got about four lemons we're going to be using. Let me clean this chicken up, break this down, and I'll show you how we're going to start this chicken marinating. Okay, so we got the chicken all cleaned up. I'm going to be using a bag to marinate this overnight along with this lemon pepper seasoning and I uh, went ahead and broke down the juice of three of those uh, lemons and I'll be saving one for later on. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to be taking a um, about a nice spoon full so I don't know roughly a tablespoon we'll add that in here to this juice of uh, lemon and mix that up well and then I'm going to be adding in two tablespoons of this lemon pepper seasoning and mixing it into this chicken. Make sure that we get that mixed all over. I'm gonna add one in and kind of sprinkle it over the top, move this chicken all around, and then I'll add in a second. And then um, I'll bring you right back, let you know what that looks like, and then we'll be combining in that lemon juice with the rest of this uh, chicken. And then um, that's where it's gonna sit and we'll move it around all night long and then I'll see you back in the morning. All right, there we go. Nothing too crazy. A Little bit of seasoning on this chicken all the way around, right? I'm going out the Ziploc bag. There's my lemon juice. I threw my uh, tablespoon of the lemon pepper in there. I'm gonna mix that all around. I'm about to add that into the bag now, and then this will be ready to marinate. Bam, all ready to rock. Take some of that air out. Make sure that you make these nice and tight. Move them all around real good so they can all feel a little bit of this lemon juice. And whenever you walk past the refrigerator for the next 24 hours, fondle them around a little bit, move them around, flip them upside down, let them just stay in this juice. I'll catch you back tomorrow. All right, so we go to chicken the day after. Pretty much been moving it around throughout, so you're going to notice it got that yellow tinge to it along with a little bit of seasoning. So basically, all I'm going to be doing is since I don't got uh, my normal stuff on hand, I'm just going to be using another one of these bags. I want you to bring this chicken out. We're going to pat it dry with uh, some paper towel. And then from there, I'm going to be putting it into another bag where I'm going to be basically coating it with about a half a cup of, uh, a little bit less than a half a cup of uh, regular just vegetable oil. Um, and then from there, I'll be laying it back out, getting ready to go throw it out there on the grill. I got that coming up to temperature at 400. And we're going to go ahead and give it a light sprinkle of uh, lemon pepper right over the top. I'm going to clean these up, dry them off real quick, uh, get that oil on. I'll bring them back and let you see what it looks like. All right, so there you go. I'm going to start them with skin side down. 
Go ahead and patted them off. Got that oil on them and everything. I think I might have said a half a cup. Make that a quarter a cup. You know, I got a lot of chicken over here. I got a whole nother tray of this, but uh, you don't need too, too much oil on there. We just more or less getting them wet after they done got nice and dried off to get that crispy skin and protect them while we're on 400. Other than that, we got this lemon pepper seasoning. We're just about to go right over the top with a nice amount of it just to kind of wake these babies up. Pardon my reach. And we're just going to get each one of these babies with a nice bit of coating on there. And basically, they'll get to cook in while sitting on this side. We're going to be cooking for an hour at that 400. And then we'll flip them halfway and do the exact same thing to the other. So there we go. Hey team, I wanted to jump in here real quick and tell you thanks for following along on today's cook. We are remote, but we are definitely setting up for something big to knock off preseason. Uh, if you haven't done so yet, make sure that you go to that bottom right corner. Make sure that you subscribe, like them videos, and go back and check out some of the ones that you might already miss. And then be tuned in for tomorrow's video. We're going to be kicking off the preseason with CJ over at Mama and Papa Joe's. That's going to be great. And I'm also going to leave a link in the descriptions as well as uh, right above for you to check out Mr. Spinelli over at All Wings Everything. That's kind of where this uh, recipe originated from. So check that out for the best lemon pepper wings you're going to ever get. And other than that, let's finish these babies up. All right, I thought I'd brought you back out here just to let you see this thing working and rolling. Locked in at 400. We got a lot of good old clean smoke blaring. We got a full house. 30 minutes. We're going to flip them, hit them with a little more lemon, lemon pepper season on the other side, and then uh, we'll be ready to pull. All right, team, we cooking hot and fast. I can already tell along the way, I take a peek at them about 15 minutes in, adjusted that temperature back to uh, 375 off of that 400. As I could tell, we was cooking fast and also started to rotate them a little bit just so I seen I had some hot spots. These are flipped over, just dusted the other side. I got one more tray as we make shift in it. This tray right here, I still got a dust, but you can see I already got some pretty nice looking color on there. We're gonna let it get about another. I'm gonna bring it all the way down to 350. See if we can't get another uh, close to about a half an hour. And I'm gonna tempt these babies in a little bit and we should be good to go. All right, team, we about 45 minutes. And I had to come check these babies out because I told you we cooking hot and fast. They about done. We're about to pull them up off of here and we're gonna knock out these last couple steps and these chicken wings will be legit. Mm, check these babies out. I'll tell you what, they look good enough to eat and they ready to go right now. We got us a good little bit of char on there. I can already smell the smoke coming off. You can see that seasoning in there, but we're gonna take these to the next level. So, we got that butter over here. I got about five tablespoons of butter that we are ready to melt it. Added in about a teaspoon of that lemon pepper uh, seasoning and kind of starting to mix that around. Pretty much, um, if you got a bowl, I would put these in a bowl and then we're just going to be more or less drizzling a little bit of this butter over the top, giving it a toss, and then we're going to be setting them out. Right, team, here they um, go. These babies came out great. You see we hit them with a little bit of that butter. I wanted to show you that we didn't use all of it. At the end of the day, all you want to do is be able to get them wet all over. You don't got to necessarily use all that butter. We don't want to be saturated. And then we topped them off with just a little bit of extra of that lemon pepper seasoning. And other than that, they ready to go. Only one thing less to do, let's get a taste. Team, we got that thing done. At the end of the day, we talking about 45 minutes. We started off at 400, got that thing nice and crispy. Uh, turned it back to 375, then finished it off at about 350. Got a good little bit of smoke on there. But uh, let me tell you, I'm ready to taste the price of this. Other than that, we about to kick off this preseason. You see it by the lid that I'm rocking right now. I'm already at camp, so mine has already started. Make sure you tune in tomorrow. Me and CJ over at Mom and Papa Joe's got a little something, something for you to kind of get you going for your weekend. But uh, let me taste this wing. Make sure you check out Spinelli over at All Wings Everything. These are the best lemon pepper chicken wings you're going to get your hands on. Not until next week. I'll see you tomorrow. Peace.